A couple of weeks ago, I created a video about private GPT and it seems that many of you find it interesting and many of you have the same question that it is slow and the embedding process is slow as well as the response that we get from the model is also slow. In this video, I will show you what has been changed in this private GPT and also from where can you download models easily so that you can use different kind of models as well as at the end i will show you one different repo which uses gpu to ingest the files as well as get responses out of it let's get started and if you are new to this channel and you just appear to be here please consider subscribing there are more educational videos in the pipeline yeah let's get to the content now okay i am on the github repo of private gpt one significant change that has been in this repository is now it is using the sentence transformer for embeddings meaning that the time that it took for me around 10 minutes to embed the particular document now takes just seconds and you don't even need to download that particular model so it is downloaded automatically so in order to follow all the different steps you can follow my previous video but here all the steps are same and we are still using the groovy bean model as the main model to get the responses but for the embeddings we are going to use the sentence transformer as i said before one more thing that has has also changed is while i create the previous video only some of the formats were supported but now you can see there are different file formats that are supported so you can just put these different files into the source document now let's go and see this into action i have already cloned that particular repository and you can see here i have already activated the virtual environment and installed the necessary packages as well as the models as you can see here in the file structure i have this source document which is the state of the union and there is this constants.py ingest.py to ingest the document let me not show again and private gpt which we run the responses right and then you can see here there is this requirement.txt what are the different uh, packages that we need to install so and there is the readme file which we need to follow first thing first you need to clone the repository and go inside the repository for that please refer to my previous video i'm not going to go through the same process again but what we can do here now is one thing you need to do is download the model and you can see that we have just the ggml gpt for all jv1 groovy model meaning that we don't need to have the model for embeddings that is done by itself when we run the ingest command just to show you how much time it will take now i will just run the command let me time it first and python3 ingest.py when i run this command the embedding model is going to be downloaded for us automatically as you can see here it is downloading now and once it is downloaded it will do the embedding for us before it used to take like 10 minutes for me to embed this particular document but now as you can see here it downloaded the model first and then it did the embedding for this process it took just 19.65 seconds but it depends upon your machine what kind of machine you have that is the huge improvement by using the sentence transformer for the embeddings when we run this embedding if you noticed here there is this db folder being created and inside there we have the different files and it is stored in the parquet format and there is the index here now that is done the next thing that we need to do is run the private gpt right but what is happening when we run this if you are following my channel you know that these are the things that happens when we have a document and we need to extract the pages and all the different things right i have explained this in details in this flow wise ui video please refer to this to see what is happening when we uh, ingest the file and what will happen until the time we get the response out of it right now what we can do is go here clear the screen and run the command right we can just run python3 private gpt dot pi right this is the command we need to run as it is shown in the documentation here let me go to the github here if you go down we need to ingest this as it mentioned here also and then we need to run the python private gpt dot pi and we can ask any questions let's say why was neto created in the terminal right so if you can see here it is asking me 
to provide some question i can just say why was nato being created right by the way i am using macbook m2 and it has 24 gb ram the response time is quite okay for me it's not that fast but let's wait for some seconds what kind of machine you are using i think it's okay to wait some seconds because our data is completely private and we are not sending our information to some third party as you can see here it shows that the nato is an intergovernmental military alliance and all the different things so it provided the answer and the time taken is around 20 to 30 seconds i think around that so yeah and then you can ask as many questions as you want for those of you who want to use the different large language model you can go to the gpt for all website and by the way you can even do even download the gpt for all locally if you want to have the simple chat gpt like ui you can follow the instruction here it's quite straightforward but if you just want to have the models being downloaded if you scroll all the way down here it shows the model explorer just click on this drop down you have different models here we are using the ggml gpt for all jv13 groovy model you can choose any models here let's say that you want to use the vicuna model a stable vicuna you can choose this one and you can download this and place inside the models folder and then you can use this particular model to have the response from the particular model okay, for those of you who want to use the gpu there is a local gpt repo from prompt engineer which says that this project was inspired by the original private GPT that we just went through, right? What is this? There are some changes here. They are using the instructor embeddings instead of sentence transformers and Vicuna 7B instead of GPT for all. You can just follow this particular repository. All the instructions are almost the same. Here you can use GPU to do the ingestion part as well as you can ask the questions to your document locally with the gpu itself and if you want to use the cpu there are also the instructions being provided how you can use it in a cpu this way you can have cpu as well as gpu and there is also the instructions system requirements and all the different things what you can follow from this particular repository and by the way when we deal with these kind of things and it is it will be constantly developing so you always check this issues as well as the full request because someone else want to contribute to the project as you can see here for this local gpt also there are already 14 pull requests and there are issues 56 meaning that somebody else also has some kind of issue when running this particular model and if you go to the private gpt the original one there is issues 238 and pull request is 51 meaning that the new things can be added to this particular repo please follow this particular repository if you have any questions ask in the issues section so that you get help faster yeah that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next video